What up, party people? Why you should be a billionaire. Recently, though, I was talking with my friend John Arrow, who runs Mutual Mobile, about why he wanted to do this. If you want to hear the extensive story, check out my podcast somewhere below and leave a comment if you actually want to be a billionaire. So John recently sold his company for nearly nine figures. That's ten fingers, but nine figures, guys. And I was hanging out with him and I said, you know, well, what's kind of your goal now? And he's 30 years old. He said, I want to be a billionaire by the time I'm 40. I was like, okay, another one. And this guy's very humble. He's not arrogant. He's not fancy. He's not showy. But I was like, dude, why do you want more money? You're trying to show off. What's the point of it? And then you're only giving yourself 10 years. That's basically like $10 million a year for 10 years. And so John gave me three things that he, the way he thinks about why it makes sense for you and him and everyone. So number one is he said, your journey will be more interesting. So think about if you're trying to make a million dollar company, it's going to be hard. It's doable. But imagine trying to create a billion dollar company. Imagine the process and things that you'll have to do. And it doesn't actually matter about the money. And I thought that was such a beautiful point. But if you actually strive for something so much more, you can't just do regular things. The companies that are billion dollar companies are extraordinary. They did unique things. So regardless where the hell you end up, if you're actually trying to go for a billion, you're gonna have a crazy story, a really interesting life and reflect on something. Wow, I did something really special. Number two, you're gonna end up much further than you thought. So imagine this. I know this is gonna be crazy. Let's do some simple math for you. How much money do you need to make a day to make a million dollars? You only need $2,700 a day. That's really not that hard. 2,700 a day, 365 days, you're rich. So the same thing goes for a billion. John was like, dude, it's only a thousand millions. <laughs> or $2.73 million a day. If you have some big tasks, you're like, oh, I'm never gonna accomplish this. All right, well, just take it into like its smallest increments. And if you can keep adding those up over time, you get your billion dollars. And number three, you guys have heard this before, but let's say you set yourself for a set up your company. Let's do two different people. Let's call this loser Larry and successful Sally. Women rule, girl power. Successful Sally is like, I'm gonna go for a billion. And loser Larry says, I'm gonna go for a million dollar. You have to work hard regardless. So why not shoot for the bigger one? But you're both working hard and Larry ends up at a million. The successful Sally ends up at, let's say, 10 million. So she didn't hit her billion dollar goal, but she's crazy ahead of where loser Larry is. So, and I think there's something there with that specifically where no matter wherever you set your goal, you'll go to that. I think about it when I'm working out. Sometimes I'm like doing the bench press and I'm like, I'm gonna do six. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, barely. And I always think to myself, how did I get tired at five? And what happens is that I'm like, well, I'm only gonna do six because that's the limit I set for myself. I I realize that the more that you can set your goals higher and bigger, like, so if I would have said 10, there's a probably good chance I would end up at eight. So wherever your goals are, try to think, how do I be a billionaire? It's not about the money, but set your goals a little bit higher than you think you can accomplish and you'll end up a lot further than you thought you could.